What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. We're in a little bit of a different location. The Bourbon Ranch man cave is under a little bit of renovation. So we got kicked out into here. You know, not as cool of a set, but it will do, okay? I figured while we were kicked out of the wrench cave that I would go back and revisit a bottle that I was very critical of when I first opened it up. We're gonna be going back revisiting Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B521. The May batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I mean, if you guys remember that video, I was kind of upset with it. And, and people let me have it. Some people really loved that batch and they were kind of upset that I was upset. I know some people agree with me and that it wasn't the best thing they've ever had. It, it wasn't the best Elijah Craig batch they've ever had. And that was kind of my point. I, I remember just being stuck on the idea of this doesn't really taste like Elijah Craig barrel proof to me. Um, instead of focusing on what it was, what it is, um, I was kind of just hating on it because it was so different. So I wanted to go back, revisit it, uh, try and go into it a little more subjectively, open-minded, okay? I wanna, I wanna give it a chance. And really I wanted to let some air get to this and see if it changes, uh, see if some of those notes that were a little off-putting to me uh, would become uh, something that I could get behind, something that I could enjoy. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour it we're going to revisit it. Uh, I want to give it a fair chance. So just to recap, Elijah Craig B521 comes in 118.2 proof, 59.1% alcohol. Before we go any further, I just wanted to, to, to clarify something. So uh, I had mentioned, and, and I've seen discussion of this, and I figured, you know, that's the point of some of these videos is I want people to discuss, I want to bring my opinions to the table, and then I want you guys to comment below uh, and start a discussion with me. So someone during the last video brought up a point of, um, you like Rare Breed, and it's a low proof, barrel proof, it's 116.8, so why hate on this new batch of Elijah Craig for being 118.2 proof? You know, I'm sure some people genuinely just didn't like this because it was the lowest Elijah Craig batch. Just because it was lower proof than the others doesn't inherently make it bad. Uh, and I think this is something that we should discuss is the barrel entry proof of Elijah Craig is much higher than Rare Breed, okay? Rare Breed, Wild Turkey in general, they go into the barrel at a much lower uh, alcohol level, alcohol level, alcohol percentage, whatever. Barrel entry proof, much lower on the wild turkey. Inherently, their barrel proof is gonna be much lower. The Elijah Craig goes in, what, 125? So for it to drop down in proof, when typically I feel like they go up, you know, maybe that is uh, the cause of some of those weird notes that, you know, makes it different. So let's discuss what would cause a barrel to drop that much? What would cause it to go all the way down to 118? Again, not that 118 is bad, just more of a matter of why did it do that? Why did it get so low? Could that cause some of these notes that people like me just kind of thought were off-putting? I don't know. So let's get into it. Let's see um, if some time in the bottle, a little bit of air can open this guy up. So. Don't let me down twice in a row. Okay, so immediately, and I purposely have not tried this in a while just to kind of get it out of my mind, get it out of my memory. I want to come at it totally open-minded, um, but from what I remember, it didn't smell like this. There's nothing really off-putting about this, and I think that was something I was just so stuck on last time, was there's uh, this bitterness, this bitter note that I was just drawn to and despised it. This doesn't really have it. Again, much softer and a little more approachable than most Elijah Craig barrel-proof batches. I'm gonna stick behind that. Again, it's the lowest proof, so duh. So I can see. Uh, if you aren't a proof snob, you know, if 130 is too much for you, I think this is this is going to be it. This is probably going to be your go-to batch, okay? Still nutty, little nuttiness, peanut buttery. It, you know, it's decent. It's it's better 
for sure than what I remembered it being, okay? All right, so let's just get into it. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's see if it has improved. Okay, so the first thing that I was immediately trying to, to find and that I was focusing on was that weird bitter thing. Uh, the first time I tried it, there was a super drying bitter note on the very back of my tongue. So on that first sip, I was really focusing on it and I did, I immediately picked up on that note, but I will say that it is way turned down compared to when I first opened it up. I will say that it's not as uh, anger inducing, not as off-putting, not as aggressive. It's, you know, it's kind of there. It's a little bit uh, that oakier note, that, that bitterness. It's there. It's still there to me. I just like it a little better now. Uh, maybe just because it is a little less prominent. Maybe getting some air, mellow that out a little bit. It kind of, you know, smoothed those edges out a bit, but um, that note, I was mainly looking for that because I absolutely hated it. All right, let's go back for another sip. Let's kind of focus on everything else going on instead of, instead of that oaky, bitter thing on the back, okay? So that nutty characteristic that I was getting on the nose, um, and I don't really, I don't really remember what I said in the first video about the nose on it, but I was picking up a lot of nuttiness, a lot of peanut butter on the nose, and on the front of the palate, for sure, I'm, I'm picking it up. It's like a peanut butter cookie, a nutter butter, okay? On the front of the palate, as it moves to the back of the palate, it is, uh, and which I'm attributing to the bitterness, you know, the sides of the tongue, are, you know, are kind of, they're dry. They get dried out to me. Little weird, but, you know, not as off-putting, again, as the first time I had it. I have to attribute some of this to the lowered proof. It does not drink hot at all. I can see why people, this is a very easy sipping barrel proof, okay? Especially for an Elijah Craig barrel proof, this is by far probably the, just the easiest to drink, the smoothest. It's much more approachable, and I think it's gonna be a lot more approachable than some of the other batches, especially, I, I guess, just to the masses, to the most amount of people. Not everyone wants uh, 135 proof, so. All right, one final sip, and then I'll give my final thoughts. In conclusion. In fact, this is probably just the part of the video uh, you should have skipped to. I like it better now. After it has been opened up a little bit, now that it has gotten some air to it, maybe some of those notes were able to mellow out a bit, I like it better now. I will say, this kind of still falls to the back of the pack of my favorite Elijah Craig barrel proofs, but I will say this might fit in better with other uh, barrel proofs that are in that range. Rare Breed, Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered, the lower proof barrel proofs that are out there. I mean, obviously it's gonna fit in because it is lower proof, but I think after it is opened up, those off-putting notes kind of went away. I feel like it could probably shine uh, in that category. Whereas before, when I fresh cracked that, I would, I didn't want it. <laughs> I did not like it, so. So there we have it. If you did not like this bottle when you freshly opened it up, I will say it gets a little bit better. How much better is gonna be subjective and, and it's gonna be based on your palate, but I think you will like it better after a while. Um, if you don't, sorry. The sea batch is almost here, and that's why I wanted to do this, uh, just to give B521 one last shot at redemption before the sea batch comes and steals our hearts. Please leave comments below. Let's start some discussion. If you loved your B521 when you first opened it, uh, let me know why you loved it. And two, on top of that, I challenge you, uh, if you loved it when you opened it, Try it now and let me know if it has changed to you. For those of you who absolutely were very, very angry like I was, 
revisit it, comment below, let me know if it got better to you, if you uh, can tolerate it now. Thanks for watching guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification on your way out of here. If you want to support me more, be sure to check out all the links in the description. We got tons of cool stuff coming for you Patreons, okay? Tons of merch, tons of stuff, brand new logos coming your way. Thank you so much for your support. I'm Trev Wilson, I'll see you in the next video.